Hi there, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can actually disable or deactivate W3 Total Cache plugin in two methods. So first, when you are able to log into your dashboard and second, when you are not able to log into your dashboard. So let's get started. The first method that say we are now able to log into our dashboard and to deactivate the W3 Total Cache, what I am usually uh, doing is that I want to pick up first my settings. So I go now to plugins and install plugins. I see that W3 Total Cache now on my dashboard is activated and used. And to pick up the plugin setting, what I want to do first is I'm going to click on settings. Then I'm going to scroll down. And I want to export configuration. So I'm going to download this configuration. So click on that download button. So that it is now my plugin uh, setting is already downloaded to my computer. So uh, in Chrome browser, you can click on show in finder or you can go directly to your download folder. So right here, what I want to do is I want to rename this because by default it names on your site and then dot JSON and uh, for example in the future I will not know what kind of file that is so therefore I would like to um, rename it personally so I'm going to just rename this file uh, adding the dash before the dot JSON wording so I'm just going to put on a W3 total cache setting and hit enter and then uh, by renaming this file I know what kind of file that is in the future and then after that you can put it somewhere in your backup um, folders or any where that you want to pick up your site then the next step is we want to disable uh, every cache here set that we have you can scroll up and then you can toggle and then you can toggle all caching types on or off at once. Well, once you toggle that, you see that now it's uh, toggle it on and we want to toggle everything off. That's why now everything is disabled. Once you done that, click on save all settings. So once all settings are disabled, then we can hover on plugins and install plugins. And then scroll down and now we can click on deactivate link. Click that. Then scroll down. You see now that W3 total cache is deactivated. Now you can delete that uh, plugin or you can keep it in case you want to enable later on. The next step that we want to see is that we go to our WordPress directory or where your install your WordPress website, you can do that by going to your cPanel or connect your FTP client. Check out my other video to connect FTP client like FileZilla to your cPanel and I will put the link in the descriptions below this video. In the cPanel, we go to, go to files and file manager. So it depends on your web host, you may not or you may see directly on your screen. So in most web hosts that use cPanel, you will see file manager. Click that. Right here, we want to navigate to the root directory. So because I install my WordPress website in the root directory, so I just go to public underscore HTML. In case you install it in your add-in domain, then you should look where your folder is. Then I'm going to go inside wp-content, so double-click that. So right here, you see that I still have W3 total cache uh, left of a file. So this cache folder and the W3 TC dash config folder, these folders belong to W3 total cache plugin. So when you deactivate your uh, W3 total cache plugin inside your dashboard and also delete this, this left of a file you want to delete as well. So let's do that by selecting the cache folder and while selecting this cache folder you can hold your command key if you use Mac and if you use Windows you can hold your control key to select some of the folders so select cache folders and then select on w3tc config 
once you have this folder selected, click on delete button on the top. And if you want to skip the trace, then you can to check this and click on confirm button. Make sure that you are having the right folders right here and click on confirm button. Once we've done that, now we're going to go to up one level. We're going to scroll down and look where .htaccess uh, file is. If you do not see your .htaccess in HostGator, you can click on setting button on the top and make sure that you choose your uh, domain document root and also your show hidden files checkbox is checked. Because mine is already checked, then I'm going to click on cancel for now. So the next step is we want to pick up this .htaccess. So to do that, select that file and then going to copy and right here you want to copy this so uh, you want to put your forward slash whatever the root directory of your WordPress files is and you want to rename it as .htaccess dash orich from original and then copy files you should see the copy of your .htaccess file if you do not see that you can click on reload button so the next we want to edit the original so select that .htaccess and then click on code editor you can disable this encoding checks but uh, for me I'm just going to let it on and then click on edit button so right here you may see uh, different content of your .htaccess file it is okay but the most important is that here you want to look uh, w3 total cache wording so w3 total cache when it's activated sometimes it leaves uh, the code in the .htaccess file so uh, it usually show the the beginning of browser cache or something like that so anything that has to do with cache you may want to click on that um, icon and then look for cache and click on find next so uh, in this .htaccess file I do not find any wording but if you find this and it has the wording w3 total cast then you may want to delete that as well I will show you in the manual deletion uh, video later so let me close this and because I do not have leftover code in my .htaccess that was written by w3 total cache plugin so I'm just going to hit close button the next thing that we want to check is that the wp-config.php there it is so select this file and then click on code editor again click on edit so when you activate w3 total cache it usually uh, has the code here uh, that define the enable caching is true and you see that I do not see any cache wording right here so I can then let it as is. You can also click on that icon again and type in cache and find next. And once you do not find it, then it's more likely that you do not have any caching uh, code in your wp-config.php. In my case, I can then click on close button without saving the changes. So that's it. That's how we can um, disable or deactivate W3 total cache plugin when we can log in to our dashboard. The next one is that when you have to deactivate it when you cannot log into your dashboard. Okay, and the second possibility is that you want to disable W3 total cache from your website and you cannot log into your website. So in this condition, you are also not able to download your setting uh, of your W3 total cache. So to disable W3 Total Cache, if you cannot log into your dashboard, you must have access to your web server, either by FTP client or cPanel. Again, in this tutorial, I'm using cPanel. So let's log into our cPanel. Let me close this. So in your site root directory, you want to go to WP Desk Content. Double click that. And then we go to Plugins. And then look for W3 Total Cache plugin. There it is. Now, if you still want to use it, then you're going just to rename it. But if you want to delete this, then you can just delete. But for now, I'm just going to delete this because I can reinstall it again somehow. So I'm just going to select this file and then click on delete button. 
and skip the trust. Confirm. Then what you're going to do is click up one level. So you go to uh, one more level of your directory from plugins directory. And right here we want to select uh, and delete some files. So yours might have different um, folders because every site has different configuration of caching plugin. So if you see anything uh, with cache or W3TC name and also db.php inside your uh, WP test content folder, then you want to delete this. So for now, I'm just going to select on cache plugin and hold your command key and then W3 total cache config folder and then advanced cache.php folder and db.php folder, also object cache.php. Then I'm going to click on delete button on the top. I want to skip the trash and permanently delete these files. Then you can go to up one level and you look for .htaccess file. So the next step is we want to pick up this .htaccess. So to do that, select that file and then going to copy. And right here, you want to copy this. So um, you want to put your forward slash, whatever the root directory of your WordPress files is, and you want to rename it as .htaccess orig from original and then copy files. You should see the copy of your .htaccess file. If you do not see that, you can click on reload button. So the next, we want to edit the original. So select that .htaccess and then click on code editor and click on edit. Right here, in your .htaccess, you may see different codes than mine, but uh, it should be the same if you install W3 Total Cache. So you should see the begin and then whatever the caching setting is. So for example, begin W3 Total Cache Browser Cache. There it is. And we should look for the end of the same Browser Cache code. So there it is. So we want to select the end and the begin code and we want to delete that. Next is we also want to delete the page cache core setting. So again, select on the begin and the end of W3 total cache setting and then delete that as well. So there we are. Now we have cleaned already uh, the htaccess code that is written by W3 total cache. Now we're going to click on save changes button. So now you can check on your site if it's still running. The site is still running, so then we did already uh, did delete successfully. And then uh, again, type in your wp-admin if you still be able to do that. And yes, we are still able to do that. So in case that you cannot see your site on the front end, what you're going to do is that uh, close on .htaccess file and then you're going to delete that .htaccess file and then you're going to log in and resave your permalinks. That will regenerate the new .htaccess file. But be careful when you want to refresh .htaccess file, you may want to take a look again that .htaccess original and then copy some uh, maybe redirections or another .htaccess code that you have from Illy um, state of your website and then paste that in in the new .access uh, file. So the next file that we should take a look is that wp-config.php. So scroll down and see wp-config.php. Select that file and then click on code editor. Click edit. Now as you can see uh, in wp-config.php we have this de uh, define w p underscore cache and true and we want to delete that just delete this line and click on save changes button now once you did edit your wp-config.php uh, you want to go to your site again and test the front end and back end and you should be able to delete the w3 total cache plugin manually from your website. So thank you so much for watching and please like this video if it was useful for you and take care of yourself. Goodbye.